Hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here. I'm about to uh, hike on the Pink Trail here at Turkey Mountain Wilderness in Tulsa. Good chance to test out this new GoPro camera here and uh, maybe do some wilderness photography. That's why I've got the, the bigger camera with me also. Now, it being 37 degrees, it's uh, probably not gonna be so necessary to take a look at that sign over there that says uh, venomous snakes in the region. I'm guessing they're all hiding at the moment. But uh, good opportunity. This should be about a five and a half uh, mile trail. I'm looking forward to, to heading out on it and giving it a try. Thanks for coming with me today. This trail is pretty windy though. And I know it's a little strange to be watching it backwards. But uh, yeah, so let's talk about this, this Turkey Mountain Wilderness area. Uh, this is one of the places in, in Tulsa that offers really the outdoor experience you can't find it on in the city itself. Uh, it's a pretty uh, interesting area. There's some areas for mountain bikers, there's some areas for road bikers really, uh, and there's some areas for hikers. This trail that I'm on I think is one of the longest, if not the longest, and uh, it's like five and a half miles, which is pretty good for a hike. Uh, and as you can tell, it's uh, fairly rocky and uneven terrain, good technical stuff, good opportunity to practice uh, all sorts of things. You see, I got to get ready because there is a uh, Presbytery backpacking trip that is taking place this summer. And uh, one, I'm looking forward to COVID being over so we can actually go backpacking with other people. Two, I uh, don't know how much out of shape I am. And so I want to practice uh, everything I need to so I can be in shape for that trip. Now, obviously today, while well, I've got uh, my hip pack on and my camera, I don't uh, have my full kit with me. I don't have my full backpack. But I, I figured this was a good opportunity to check out this, this region and I don't know, see how things go. But we got a little bit of a water crossing here, haha, uh, to handle, so let's handle it. That was navigated easily. <laughs> So while being out here in the wilderness, there are still evidences of human habitation just beyond. Gotta love seeing the American flag flying there. And then over there. Yep, that's Tulsa downtown. Visible from here on Turkey Mountain. Just shows you we're not as far away from civilization as it sometimes feels out here. So yeah, we're, uh, we're paralleling a little creek over here, continuing along the pink trail. And it's interesting to see the changing elevations and the various water crossings. It's all very well laid out. There's been no actual getting my feet wet yet. Oh, hey, there's a turn. Maybe you see the arrow there that says go across. 
So let's go across the river here. Um, as you can see, not really a river. <laughs> That's okay. So let's see. Uh, whenever crossing, you got to be a little bit careful. Don't want to fall over. Hey, we made it. Very good. And now, we get to continue on Pink Trail. Yeah, one of these things about the Pink Trail has been, it's pretty well marked, but it's not perfectly well marked to where every uh, transition point or every crossing is is good. I'm really glad I brought along the uh, smartphone with the All Trails app. Helps me know if I'm off the trail too far. Of course, it's not lined up perfectly, but hey, GPS can only do what GPS can do. Anyway, it's been a beautiful day for a walk. Sky is bright blue, sun's out, sparkling in the waters and the various places we've been. Really enjoying it today. So as, as I was walking along the path here, I noticed these colors popping through the woods. You know, I saw the lake, and that was pretty as much as the brown water this time of year just kind of looks like everything else. But uh, yeah, then I saw these colors in the trees and it was like, what is that? As far as I can tell, it looks like shipping containers, but it might be like wagons? They've got wheels on them, so I'm going to take a closer look, but just wanted to show what it looked like. from beautiful lake to these wagons over here. I'm still not entirely sure what they are. One of them had a uh, sticker on it that said uh, Tulsa Schools, number 313. So I wonder if they were school buses or school wagons at one point. Maybe they were used for a festival? I don't really know. It's very strange. So I just got a message from my spouse a little while ago saying that her morning meeting was done. And since I'm the one that cooks the food in the house, I should probably head home to make sure that we have lunch. It's a little bit after 12.30, so it's just arrived the right, uh, just about the right time for that anyway. So at the Big Rocks, I decided to take the shortcut, cut off maybe about a mile of the trip, but uh, yeah, it's been a fun hike, and I look forward to sharing more with you as we go. So as I've been hiking out this last little bit here, two things have happened. One, <clears throat> I finally encountered a couple other people, which, uh, you know, nice to see some other people out here, but in COVID time, I was kind of getting used to being out here by myself. <laughs> but uh, it is an urban recreation area, so 
you gotta think that there's gonna be some other people in, in the city that might come out on a random Thursday for a walk. Uh, and then I passed a sign uh, after I left those weird wagons over by the lake. I passed a sign that identified that lake as Pepsi Lake. And it got me thinking, maybe those wagons are pop delivery systems. That is, you know, you've heard of milk wagons back in the day. Maybe that was how uh, cases of Pepsi were delivered to schools, to, you know, regional areas. And then as trucking became more common and you didn't need individual wagons like that, those might have been retired. Now, I don't know if that's true, but that's the idea that's popped into my head. Of course, it's entirely possible that Pepsi Lake has absolutely nothing to do with Pepsi, the product, and, you know, that's fine too. But if you have the, the answer, let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you have a speculation even, I'd love to know what you think those wagons were. Yeah, that's the fun of being out in nature though. Sometimes you find human-made things and you're like, wow, this doesn't belong here. I wonder what its story is. There's always a story and it's always an interesting one because humans are interesting. It's one of the reasons I greet you as friend human because very few people say that. And it's important to recognize our mutual humanity together. And on this part of the trail, we see that spring has already found its way here. Everything's been so dead and brown and everything. It's a little strange to see all these green leaves. I say all these, but uh, obviously it's still winter. But it's just interesting to see. Look, look at this, look at all these green leaves and berries. Wow, it's really cool. Well, we've come to the end of the pink trail and now heading back down to the lower parking lot where I happen to park. But uh, yeah, that was a fun trail. I'm going to have to go back and do the, the loop that I, mixed, I missed at some point. Maybe with the cameras, maybe not. I'm definitely coming back to doing this one again. Uh, thanks for coming along with me, friend of humans. As you can see, Still in COVID time, we got the hanging sign reminding us social distancing. The wind is doing its best to be very uh, clear on that point. But got a little bit of elevation to do and I'm gonna be heading back home. So thanks again. Hope you have a wonderful day.